Hey y'all, it's Allie. Today we are going to teach you how to measure yourself for a formal tux or a just a suit. Um, they are the same thing pretty much except for a little bit of fabrication, so don't overthink that part. You are going to need a soft measuring tape. Do not use the one from your toolbox and probably a friend or loved one to help you because it's almost impossible to measure yourself for a tux. Almost impossible to measure yourself for a tux. <laughs> Okay, when you are being measured, make sure that you wear at least one dress shoe. The heel on a dress shoe is going to help with your height. So Matt, will you please slip that on for me? Perfect. Now, you have to do a couple things. First of all, empty your pockets. No cell phones, no wallets. You need accurate measurements, so make sure there's nothing up here, keys, that are gonna hinder that. Here, I'll take, thank you very much. Stand behind the person that you're measuring. Matt, I'm gonna ask you to look away from me for a minute and make sure that your pants are up on your waist, on your waist, not our natural waist ladies, but their waist. Sometimes they like to sag their jeans or their sweatpants, okay? First thing we're gonna do is take their waist measurement. So you're gonna loop around, I'm gonna come, and you're gonna squeeze, go under their belly, around their waistband, and squeeze super tight, y'all. Like they're gonna feel like they're about to pump in half. That's your waist measurement. Then come down and do their booty. Feet together, pop that little booty out, and again, squeeze as tight as you can. This is different than what you would measure yourselves, ladies, so don't get that twisted. This is for boys only. Now, you're also gonna do their out seam. I don't need your inseam because seat of every pant is a little bit different. I need your out seam. That's gonna tell me the length of your pant. So, you're gonna come down Go to the top of where their pants are and down the side of the leg. You want to measure about an inch down onto that shoe. So for him, I would say about a 37 out seam. Next, I'm gonna do his sleeve. Turn sideways a little bit, Matt. You're gonna start from like the base of their spine and you're gonna take your tape. Also, make sure y'all writing all this down. I don't remember any of these measurements. Go from the middle of his spine to the top of his shoulder, down the back of his arm to his elbow. And it's okay if you let this tape fall. And then come down his sleeve. You're gonna measure just below where his watch sits. So, for him, 33. Perfect. Okay, Matt, I'm gonna have you turn around. Then you want his neck measurement. This is for the neck of your shirt. You don't want this to be too tight because you wanna be able to breathe the whole night. So, softly around, you wanna be able to get two fingers behind it, but it still be fitted, okay? If he's a, on the half inch and that's a little tight, go up one size with your neck. If you don't have a coat or a sports jacket in your closet that you like the fit of, you can do the overarm and the chest measurement and that will help us guesstimate what that coat size is. It's not perfect, but also you can add six inches to the waist measurement and that's also a good place to start when estimating. Now, to do the overarms, the arms at your side, oh, you're perfect, you're doing great, Matt. Thank you so much for this. Go around, and it's kind of just like you're measuring a bust on a woman. Go around the largest part of the chest. Don't want to squeeze ultra tight, but that's your overarm. Then you'll also need your chest, so you'll come underneath and do the same thing, but without the arms. That lets us know that measurement and we can start to guesstimate with you by that. However, if you have a sports coat or a suit jacket that you like, tell us that size. So remember, you will need your neck, your sleeve, your waist, your hip, your out seam, not your inseam, your shoe size, and your height when you provide us your measurements. Additionally, if you don't have a coat size to give us, which we also need, give us your overarm and your chest measurement. Thanks y'all, I appreciate it. I hope you learned something today. And if you have questions, just always rely on your professionals. You can always call us here at Monica's Bridal, 423-752-0072. Have a great day.